Phil, good to see you. Nice weekend. Yeah, great actually. Good. No, 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 no. There's gotta be some responsible. They were hit from the back. May man, but not allowed to go off just yet. Still waiting on some reports to come back. Listen, it shouldn't be too long until I get something back. Right now, I'm afraid I have nothing. Hold up, I have someone here. Well, a quick read over tells me they have a rounded face, long brown hair, smart clothes, blue jumper, Maybe some really cool glasses. Hmm. You get that? Uh, hello? Still there? It's been several weeks since I last saw them. Every day is draining. I can barely bring myself to speak anymore. I long for deep, meaningful conversations with people who appreciate me. But everyone I meet seems so distant. I can't form any long-lasting connections. I see others laugh and share lives with each other. They're content without me. The worst part is, no one notices. I stay silent about this observation. I feel invisible, cold, alone. You're late. I'm sorry, I was, um, I was a little confused. No excuses, Hanson. Since I'm such a lovely person, I will let you off. I know you've had a lot on your plate, but no more excuses. I'm sorry, I'll try and... Do better, Hanson. You. Where are your friends, Luke? You move on. You're insane. insane. Nobody cares about your family. families. Nobody cares about your family. Luke. Don't do that. Don't stop it. Oh, someone who is watching this or some of your friends will be on your family. Why are you doing this? You're insane. Don't do that. There's no need to be somewhere else. Let it all be over. There's no need to be a twerk. Let it all be over. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. There's no need to be a twerk. Let it all be over. Leave them alone. What the hell? Well, well, sir, I want to know where you were on the 20th of February, 2022, the day of my family's accident. 
Mm, yes, I see. Twenty for February. Oh, yes. I was busy screening new business now. Very successful day that was. Yeah, besides that, what else? Not much else. I just drive about four hours now and back. Driving? Yes, my Mercedes S class actually. Great car if you were. I don't care about your S class. What I do care about is who caused my family's car to. <sighs> Listen, I hired a private investigator. You know what he said? What did he say? He said the thing that caused him to crash was a result of a high speed impact from another car. This is the first you've told me of a high speed impact. Listen. Listen very carefully. I've seen photos of the crash. The car itself was black. It had very obvious silver paint streaks on the edges. I'm impressed, man. Like, you could even stand up for himself. Your stupid S class is the exact same color, the same finish, and everything. Luke, there are hundreds of thousands of cars on there. Just like me. How can you be so sure it's mine? It was talking where I was, what car I was in. Where were you, Hansel? Where were you? I... I... I don't remember. Well, I think we can see this mutant's over. Please get out of my office. Turn around! What is behind that mask of yours? Why have you been doing this to me? There are some things you must realize. Why is your voice so... Why do you question me? As if you do not know who I am. I feel like you've been watching me. Everywhere I go, I want my answers. What is it you're running from? Or perhaps, running towards? Listen, I know it's you. Take off that mask so I can see who you really are. You all have masks. I'm no different from you. What? You're slipping away. You aren't so familiar with me anymore. That is your problem. Problem? I don't even know who you are. Take off that mask. What have I done? This whole time, it was me. It's been me who's been giving myself sleepless nights. Me who's been destroying my sanity. Me! Me who caused my family's death. It all adds up, except it doesn't. Maybe I did something and I survived, but I suffered enough damage to the head that I... I don't know. If this is true, then that begs a very important question. What else will I do? What else am I capable of? Is this even real? Am I even really here, bearing witness to my own mental decline? Or is this some sick trick I've somehow played on myself? Is this a scarily real nightmare? Will I wake up soon? Is this an abstract illusion? What is real anymore? I don't feel the same. It's like I was safely secured to a wall like a boat or a screw. And now, now I have become unhinged.